Hello, good morning. I am at the 40th annual Suffolk Antiques Show and Sale, and we're in Suffolk, Virginia. This is actually my first time here, so I'm really excited to come out. Um, there's actually a dealer that I know personally who's at this show today, and so she sent me the information, and so that's how I'm going to come out here today and take you with me. She actually has a rug for me. I'm going to be hitting her booth first so that I can take a look at this antique rug that is so gorgeous. I really hope that there's no damage to it or anything like that because I'm hoping to buy it. Really excited to get in there and take you with me. We are here right at the start, and so let's get in there. Wow. That's big. I know. One of, we can open it here if not nobody's here if you want it. Okay. Yeah. Go that way. Wow. Yeah, I know, I know. I saw I didn't I forgot. The marking is at the other side. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Are you able to hold it for me while I keep looking around? A dollar a minute. <laughs> I'll fold it up real tight. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Okay. Here, I'll pay for it now, though. It's okay. Just go and walk around. Okay. Well, I want to see what else you have. Thank you. Perfect. Well, I got it from my house. It was this much too big. Yeah, that's great. I did not know it was that big. That's nice. Oh, shoes for mom. Let's hold these shoes for mom. Okay, we're going to get that rug. This is a cool jug. Scotland. It's a fun one. She always has lots of fun stuff. This bowl's cute. She's got 10 on this bowl. It's a cute bowl, but it does have a little crack. Now the master jars are either French, Belgian, or Germany. Okay. And these are great. And they're 10 each. Doesn't matter which one it is. Okay. This one is cute, this bowl, or this jar. Okay, I like this one. Such nice pieces. Look at all these little masks down here. Oh my gosh. This little bat thing. I have to send a picture of this to Elena. How fun. Okay, got this jar, these shoes for mom. on this blue bowl. These are pretty. She's got six on all these Aladdin pieces. Some Easter stuff. This jug is great. It's got 30 on it. It's huge. You said 10 on yes. the small jars? 10 on the shoe. Okay. Uh, I did 25. Okay. So I'll do these. The shoes, it's more for, it's for a mom. Yeah, I don't, I'm just kind of holding them for Okay. You're okay with me just leaving this? Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. Mom might get stuff too then. Thank you. All right. So that was the first booth. Mom's got some stuff right now. 
Mom just got these really nice shoes. Aren't they beautiful? Look at those. Here, let's hold them here. Child's brown lace-up shoes, 75. I got you some like cream baby shoes over there by Karina. Nice. I haven't even seen Karina yet. But... I have a pile going on the floor. Oh, she's over there. The white, the shoes are there. I'll wait with your shoes. Go. Yeah, if you want go. the shoes. You can come back. You can come back. I'll, I'll, I'll wait. This is pretty. It says it's a pen holder, 65. 145 on the pack basket. This Noel candle set is really pretty. 49. It's really pretty. Christmas ornaments. I usually spend $3 an ornament. And she's got, let's see, $3 an ornament, yep. So that's about fair. $3 an ornament is what we're paying. $9 on some of them though. Interesting, this person has like guitars and china. The china is 185 for the set. Carved South African pendants, 15 each. Some various nautical pieces. Some fishing rods. <laughs> a lot of them glow those are two in there see oh cool the dark, they're gonna glow a lot of them do in black see? light yeah <laughs> a little scarecrow add that to my bowl if he wants to. Good. Hey, I have like miscellaneous cardboard pieces, like 40 bucks for all of it. This way it's selling it? sell it for 20. Okay. Yeah. So is the cat. So he's got like vintage cats, like they're all cardboard cutouts. And some of them have like streamer things. But I have like one, two, three, four, like five pieces for 40 bucks. You want it? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, and I think my I dad is gonna. I, in, uh, I feel you better holding it like this. That's yeah. Bag. Okay. Thank you. And this one, if you force it too, that's how I carry it like this. Yep. Okay. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Oh no, you're welcome. I'll see you. Okay. Exactly. Thank you. Why don't we hustle that out now so people don't start tripping over it? Give me your keys and I'll just drop them in the back of your car. Okay. Linens. And that's fine. My son is Lots of nice old linens. Linen napkins, 112 for a set of eight. Dad's gonna do a car run for us and take my rug out. Thank you so much. Cuties. How are you going to carry that rug on? I'm just going to put it over my shoulder. Hey. Do you want me to help you get it up? Yeah. So. Yep. You want to do like a long ways or? Let's do a fireman's carry. She said she carried it like folded in I half. She got it here, yeah. Like that. She did it that way. We, no, you took it over. Do this. And now I'm going to put it over my shoulder. Okay. I should take a picture. <laughs> Hold on. You should, right? Look Hold on. Walk, walk that way. The antique man. From the back, from the back. I'm a, what a good guy.
I'm a vintage dad. I come to these events and just end up carrying big things. <laughs> yeah, because it's not a vintage, vintage husband, right? Let's go back towards the front because I remember seeing some things which look nice. Wow, this cabinet is really, really pretty. So nice. American Machinist Handbook, $28. Wow. $20 on this book. The Victorian Age in Literature. This is a nice book as well. The Poetical Works of George Meredith, $12. This is neat. The drying rack is 98, really pretty. And they have 60 on this. In this brass box, they have 20. And then of course we have some Pyrex. This Pyrex flower piece is 26. And this blue and white piece is 1950. Uh, bamboo and glass, 845 for the whole set. Table and chairs, wow. Here's some vintage rugs as well. Oh wow, this booth back here is pretty packed. Stones. I just want to see this jug towards the back. Wow, this massive bread box is 15. I used to sell these. But I found that people weren't as interested in these, so I stopped. Interesting pieces here. It looks like it's a set uh, made by someone else a little bit later. Made in Spain. $25. They are cute though. She's got 15 on the small ones, 25 on the large one. And the horse is great. 15 on the horse. This is really pretty piece. The lavender color. All right, we'll keep going. Excuse me. All right, my parents are in here somewhere. Oh, that's a really gorgeous piece right there. I bet you it's expensive though. And I have one more. Oh, hello. Oh, you. <laughs> Me. Two of these two beautiful ladies. I got that and I got another one. So. Oh, okay. Oh, it's probably going to be expensive. Oh, okay. On both, if you for you know you got. Oh, okay. No pressure. Uh, I could do like thirty on that. I'll do. Uh, 50 on the big one. If you buy the two, I'll do uh, I'll do 70 for the two. Okay. Thank you. 
Definitely too high for me, 70 for both. We'll leave them there. We'll keep going. Hoping to find some vintage pictures. A lot of pins and jewelry. I'll probably skip this booth. Keep going. It's really busy here, I'll let you guys see. This is a nice rug. Excuse me, are you selling the rug? No. Oh, okay. It's there to cover the wires. Gotcha, yeah. Pretty rug. I was just curious. Thank you. Oh, we got a nice basket full of pictures. Let's take a look through this. Some nice floral prints. Sorry about all this. neat little set of pictures, $10. Lots of really unique stuff here. Some more pictures. This is like a vintage French print. Yeah, and here's another one. And another one down there. These are pretty, no prices. But the prices don't seem pretty expensive for this booth, so. I'm trying to put more pictures in my shop online, so I'm trying to find some ones that are really nice. See if I can get a price. Excuse me. What's your price on this? Uh, they're $5 each. $5 each? Okay. Okay, for $5, you guys, the frame alone is worth $5. I'm gonna do these two. Leave this one. Okay, we're doing these two. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Really happy with these, they're really pretty. Yeah, see, in this picture, it's 35 just for this one. And I paid five, so it's a lot of mixture going on in here with some really, really high prices, like antique dealer prices. And then there are some folks in here that have some lower prices. Oh, I love this book. This book is only $3. Have the Cotswolds? take the cover off and it's this lovely green book great coffee table book three dollars you take the cover off and it's a really oh nice coffee gosh. table book you need to get that. yeah it's only three dollars oh really nice coffee table yes okay that's nice I just book. bought these next door so okay. I'll keep these um, and then yeah so I'll get this book <laughs> Elena likes the old art books so this one hasn't even been opened, so I can't see the date, but it looks probably early 90s, late 80s. So I'll get this one and this one. That's $6. Oh, look, it's Blenheim. Blenheim Palace. That's where Mom and I went a couple years back. We did. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. We're going to go again. Okay. I'm going to give her the $6 for the books. The two books okay. that were on that table $6. for three each, so yep. six. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is a really nice brass piece. 39 on this. Thank you so much. Not bad price. These are great for tables to put some flowers in. Really nice. Nice copper piece. 41. It's starting to get a little warm in here. More jewelry. Various china pieces. I have not seen really any ironstone. Now that might be ironstone over there, but I'm looking for ironstone big pictures. More jewelry.
Yeah, it's a really pretty picture. It's... Looks like a Parisian piece. Like a Parisian old newspaper cutout or a magazine yes. cutout that's been framed for 49. More jewelry. Not really seeing any more pictures in this one. There's a scale right there. I'm just curious of the price. Oh, look at this. People love this. We Dad went to the this. we went to the Smithfield Pickers Market, and we someone did. was not recently, but oh. the last one that I went to, there was a lady there that had the light. It was showing off all this. That people really love this stuff. The uranium glass. It's very interesting. What's the price on that? Thirty. Thirty on the scale. It's a nice scale. What, what did I put on? What did my wife tag it with? What is it on there? What's, What's that? The price on it. Thirty. I do twenty. You do twenty? Yeah, I'm trying not to load stuff back up. Okay, I could do twenty. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, on we go. 